Hey everyone, <clears throat> this is Deagle Beagle, and today we are going to look at some of these teams. So it doesn't have, in the repository, it doesn't have Fort Wayne yet. So gotta go with Victory Road, even though I do use their site, even though I don't agree with some of the things they do politically, uh, like not letting people post team reports and stuff sometimes but but they do have some good resources that Nimbasa City Post is good too but they don't have it up yet either and you I probably could get this from the official Pokemon website but anyways here are some teams I'm gonna show I met Justin Tang in Charlotte um, very good player he won this is a second regional, I think, in like a month that he's less than a month that he's won. So props to him. Very good player. He's somewhat, I think, newer to VGC because I haven't heard about him until this year. But he just is really motivated and good at the game. So here's his team. You know, I was talking about um, Terra Steel Gudra to kind of counter to counter like a uh, Fluttermane, but Dragapult outspeeding it with Terra Steel is really nice. And I don't know why I didn't quite think of that. I did think of like Terra Ghost Blast with it though. That might even, yeah, that might even one shot it. Dragapult, well, actually maybe not because they could Terra Fairy. I think that's what the steel is for. So you kind of need to use Jolly with Dragapult because, wait, what? Oh, you need, huh? No, he could have used Ghost. Why didn't he use Ghost? Because if Fluttermane is Terra Fairy, it still dies. I mean, even if you give it a lot of bulk, it still dies. Hmm. Steel does give some coverage, but having Terra Ghost Blast would actually probably be better. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to test this out. Test this out. Um, here's my, no. Series 3, new ideas. All right. Terra Ghost Blast uh, Dragapult. I was get, I was testing out Dragapult. And I was thinking about bringing it for Charlotte because it counters Iron Bundle, Tusk, and other things and outspeeds everything, like even Iron Bundle. So the, the reason why I think I didn't pick it is because it's still weak to ice when you Terra Dragon. And if they don't protect with anything, then Dragapult isn't as good. Dragapult's more good at punishing people that protect to like stall a Tailwind or, or to conserve a Pokemon in general. So if they play smart, smart versus it and don't protect with anything or just protect with their ally of the fairy mon, uh, of their fairy ally, then the, I mean they can beat it if they play smart like that but most people are like dumb and just protect anyways and let dragon darts hit something twice and kill it so if they're smart it isn't as good but with the with terra ghost it gives it a good stab without having to use like phantom force so so yeah i think instead of steel i would use that because it's better in general instead of being locked into an unstabbed move because steel is good versus ice, but there's not a lot of ice types. Maybe Chien Pao and Vex Caliber, and then like a Tyranitar or a Glamora or something maybe, but I would probably just give it Terra Ghost personally if I was running banned. You could also give it like Life Orb, but that would recoil and you probably don't really need life orb if you use terra ghost blast but if you use if you don't use terra ghost blast and use steel then yeah you might want like life orb so that you can actually switch moves 
and then that's fine. I used to be against Terra Water Amoongus because it would just get freeze dried, but I guess that was more of the singles mindset where it's like, like the priority with Pokemon is generally walling whatever is trying to kill it. But I've since kind of changed that philosophy after seeing these cores people use like they if they didn't all use the same type of core then maybe terra rock amoongus would be good but since they almost all use now like palf and arcanine amoongus or stuff like that then terra rock isn't as good and even if they don't just a simple combo like talon flame and tusk can beat the terra rock amoongus so it's like if you try to counter one thing too much then you are even weaker to the other thing but if you use a bland typing like water in neutral to everything then you generally wall stuff better on amoongus it makes more sense than other pokemon because people are like desperate to take it out because they don't want to get spored and gm pal is fine arcanine yeah i like the terra flying it's good versus ground moves and fighting moves whatever so and fissure <laughs> so that's fine uh i did use bug on sandy shocks though on on arcanine i wouldn't rec and most mons i wouldn't recommend it though because you're weak to more common moves like flare blitz if you do that but yeah flying's fine even though you could use grass or something booster energy is good I like booster energy more than life orb because you don't take any recoil and yeah you do lose it when you switch out but I rather lose it when I switch out than just recoil kill myself with life orb recoil that's just so stupid when like oftentimes you barely survive an attack to begin with and then life orb's just going to finish you off so it's like you either should be specs or booster energy normally I wouldn't use personally I wouldn't use life orb with most Pokemon, um, especially Flutter Main, because it it often is in that situation where it has like 10% left, and then the Life Orb finishes you off, or 20%, and two hits finishes you off. With Talonflame and other Pokemon, where you kind of need the offense more to like finish something off or one shot something, then I think it makes more sense. But the difference between Life Orb and Night, you're not gonna get many more kills with well you are going to get kills versus like iron bundle and stuff with terra fairy booster energy than if you didn't have booster special attack energy but other than that you're not going to get a lot more kills one shots as you would with talon flame versus like a chi yu or something and standard set on palafin okay i'm spending a little bit too much time on on Justin's team and props to Justin and Joseph they both have gotten like either second or first um, very recently in regionals so looks like Joseph has been using a very similar team to his series 2 team in fact he doesn't even use any ruins mons I think he's just been using the same team as freaking Charlotte like that's what a lot of these people do that want to place high in tournaments they just keep using what they were already using and change maybe one mon to something that better counters the the new metagame and regulation c so looks like that's what he did i don't remember his exact team from from before um no i already have it up no i already have it up it's charlotte it's um okay he used a very similar team except this time he used garchomp over tusk and what did he use over the freaking mimic you he used the flutter main. okay so he just swapped similar pokemon let me turn this off um sorry about that and pretty standard Yeah, overall pretty standard good team. Assurance is really good for countering recoiling moves and life or recoil too. 
I didn't even know that until I heard that narrated in the Justin Karras versus, I want to say, the Joe UX9 or Joe Ugarte. Yeah, versus Justin Karras. I didn't even. Wait, back to Fort Wayne. So, Luca, he did well again. Hmm. That's funny. He doesn't even use Iron Head. Rocky Helmet. That's That might be good. People haven't used that in a while because originally it was mostly meant for mouse hold. Yeah, things in general, but mostly mouse hold. And then I don't know why mouse hold really fell off. Like it's always been great with Pop Bomb. I think people either got tired of it missing or yeah, back in the day they would just use Rocky Helmet and beat it and then people just forgot about it and stuff. Or or there's faster Pokemon now like Specs Fluttermane that just take it out. So maybe that's why they don't use it anymore, but it's still really good. And Howl I think is used more because in Charlotte it was proved proven to be good with like uh, Joshua Lorsey and other people used it with Corviknight and it was really great. Terra Grass, I'm sure he uses that to be the Moongus because yeah, it, it'll just get spored. Pretty standard. I'm just gonna close Charlotte in this stream. Okay, so Fiona, I, I don't know why we're seeing so much Gyar Gyarados, but I like, <clears throat> I mean, it is good because it, it counter, it's not weak to like Fluttermane and stuff. It is weak to Bundle, but she has Terra Steel on it and Lumberry for the, the Will-O-Wisp and Spore and whatnot. Thunder Wave, maybe. You could use it like that. I would personally either use it like this or use a Dragon Dance set with Terra Flying because I would want to counter Amoongus, but Taunt does counter most of Amoongus's because almost none of them use Mental Herb anymore. I think because they realize that getting Taunted isn't necessarily so bad because you can still Pollen Puff. And Terra Ghost, I assume, is with the Flutter main to be immune to Fake Out, which is fine. Encounter the Iron Hands or whatever is trying to Fake Out. Probably That's probably the most common Fake Outer. Terra Grass for Amoongus. I guess it's fine, all of this. You, I don't know, bland defensive typing with the terra, wa terra water stuff and then did these people work on the same team together I think they did these look pretty well looks pretty similar yeah they did I'm sure they did that's too similar they probably talked about everything yeah with the terra water yeah that's like copy pasted because nobody uses Terra Water except these two people. They usually use Terra Poison or, or maybe a Terra Ground or something. And then, that's funny, Aka Berry with Terra Water. I don't know about that. Maybe. Someone in the tournament last night versus me, I beat him, but he was using Aka Berry with Terra Steel. So, I'm not sure about Aka with Water, but maybe Water is after the Aka Berry pops. Or for other things. So, hmm, I don't know. Probably figures that doesn't tear tear much with Amoongus anyways. Yeah, this is a copy and paste except Iron Head over some, whatever move she was using. I think Helping Hand. Okay, makes sense. Slightly different moves, but I can tell. I can tell that's not a coincidence. I mean, it's possible, but I just know it's not. <laughs> It's just too unlikely. And Choice Specs, a Terra Water. Nick Novari? Yeah, he does pretty well on average. Stealth Rock. He's joking about that. Could be pretty good for all these switches. Mm. 
Not bad. It's funny he uses Icy Window with Fluttermane and not Bundle. I guess he could do that. Choice Spin without, without Normal, huh? That's good for Terra Blast. Throw them off guard because they're not used to Choice Spin without Terra Normal. Water Veil. Hmm. I guess he figures that Don Dozo isn't used a ton anymore, so maybe he doesn't need Unaware. And that does prevent burns. Oh, he doesn't even use Tatsugiri. Yeah, you could use a Don Dozo like this. That's kind of different or risky, but you could do that. And oh, it'll hit the sleep powder more with wide lens. Hmm. Pretty standard. Not much to say. Pretty well balanced. This looks like the average Sun team, like Nick Navare slash whoever else is popular for using it. Love Wiley. I remember this guy. He, I foreknowed him like probably 10 or, th or 11 years ago. It was either probably 2012 or around that time. And and then he rematch, He asked for a rematch again, and it seemed a little sus the way he asked about it. But I was like, whatever, I'll just rematch you, dude, because, you know, I'll, I, like, I just don't really turn away a challenge very often. But then... He uploads the video of him like beating me, but not the video of me just taking literally zero damage and four knowing it. Not that I care that, I guess I don't need to care that much about my ego or whatever. I just thought that was funny out of, out of principle. Like, but he like disappeared from playing Pokemon for like 10 whole years or more, probably. And then all of a sudden he does pretty well at this tournament, um, which I will say it doesn't probably take that much skill to do really well with the Don Dozo team, but he did use a pretty good Don Dozo team, even though it's like the most standard one, except with like, like a Chien Pao and a Terra Rock Tatsugiri added on. And then I think if he did pick Terra Flying to to beat Fissure, then that was pretty smart. I don't know if he did or not. Would have to ask him. But not bad. I don't know what the Terra Rock Rock is for. Maybe it's for like I want to say Extreme Speed, but then he would use Ghost for that. So it's probably not just that, but like I don't know versus Tyranitar and. Why the heck does he use rock? I guess for Talon Flame. I don't know. Some sort of flying Pokemon, maybe. But who knows? And let's move on to the next team. Oh, Facade. That's pretty that's pretty ingenious with normal. So yeah, that's a good way of beating beating Will O Wisp. I use that with like Braviary, but I didn't. I won't. I don't know about facade with like a choice item because you don't know if they're going to burn you or not. They probably won't, and then you're stuck using facade. It's not that bad. It's 70 power, but it's not as powerful as something else like extreme speed. So it's fine though. It's a consistent stab move if you use Terra Normal. So normally people use flying, by the way, with Terra Blast. So He's running something different. Okay, next. We'll look over probably just 10 or more teams. And then call it an, a wrap. So, yeah, Salt Vest, Ting Lu is standard with Fissure. Uh, pretty standard set, except a lot of people might use like Throat Chop or Payback over Ruination. They might even use a rock move, but probably not on the salt vest set if they're running fissure. Standard. Except, I don't know why a thunderbolt is 
around so much. I guess it is good versus flying types or terra flying stuff, but recently a friend showed me he was using energy ball and I was thinking, whoa, that's, I forgot I got energy ball. Like that would be good for going through Amoongus. So now I think I might want to use energy ball to go through rage powder and hit those water types. So being locked into a thunderbolt when they have an Amoongus just worried me. So I never, I never really wanted to keep using thunderbolt with the spec set. That seems better on the booster energy special attack set or just in general without a choice item. So personally, I would use either energy ball or psych shock or power gem or something. I like psych shock personally, but I want I want to test out energy ball. If it goes through rage powder, then that's really good. And then psych shock's good versus Amoongus, because Amoongus is one of the one of the most common Fluttermane counters. But props to Paul Chui is a very good battler. Even though personally I would use instead of ice shard, I would use dragon dance, but ice shard is really good um, Dragon dance. I just think could sweep people if you make it a fast one But maybe you wanted it bulkier anyway, so yeah, ice shard could make more sense Vex caliber is good for countering the palafin and moongus arcanine combo except it can get spored especially if they tear a water with the moongus now bug fighting ground etc weakness yeah i guess that's okay oh for mega <laughs> mega horn okay yeah that actually is a good idea to counter like grass types even though it would do neutral to amoongus but like zarnia or whatever grass type it would super affect if they're not if their other types not resistant to it and he I'm just guessing is using a speed booster energy one because I was actually wanting to test iron treads out with speed booster energy because it seems really good in the current meta where like everyone's using specs flutter main or just flutter main in general outspeeding it iron heading it would be really good uh, iron heads fine heavy slam does more damage though on average to most Pokemon but iron head is more consistent and can flinch something. Now, let's see the rest of the team. Pretty standard again. Giga Impact, that's, I don't know about Giga Impact. I guess that's like a last hurrah if it's going to die anyways. Not bad. Oh, I know Charisma. It's confused. All right, so yeah, pretty, pretty much the same clear amulet set. All standard stuff, even though, again, I don't agree with Thunderbolt. I would use something else personally, but maybe it, it makes sense, like I said, for flying Pokemon or Terra flying like Dragonite or something. And then Alberto Lara, he's using the same team again, except, he, yeah, see... Oh, he used Terra Fire. I was I was saying like how come he doesn't use like Terra Fire with Citrus? That would counter things better than like uh Citrus Terra Dragon one. He probably got tired of getting burned. So yeah, Terra Fire I think was a great adjustment because I was doing really well with Terra Fire Corviknight. It totally walls Arcanine and whatnot. And Citrus keeps it alive for everything else. So personally that's exactly how I would use Corviknight. Uh but Maybe not body press with bulk up. I would use Roost and Brave Bird though, but I would probably use Tailwind and Iron Head for the other two moves. But it's a preference thing. He does have Tailwind with Rory Moon, so on this team, maybe, yeah, it makes more sense. Covert Cloak, I don't know about that. The Terra Ghost, like, you already have Covert Cloak. I don't know, maybe. But when I was using Covert Cloak, it seemed like it was totally useless unless. They had like Fake Out or Icy Wind or Snarl. So, I mean, it does work for the Salt Cure and stuff too, but I don't know. Personally, I would use either Sash with it or Booster Energy or like even Wide Lens, especially since he's running Hydro Pump. And 
Clef Key? What was Clef Key last time? Was it Terra Water? I don't think so. I think he used like Terra. What the heck did he use with it? Because I was using Terra Fairy or Terra Flying. I mean, with with Clef Key. Um. I don't know. Let's just go to Knoxville. So he was using Ghost. Yeah, he yeah he was. I remember now. He was using Ghost, and then he probably figured it's not that useful because you'll never tear a Ghost, like versus a fake out. It's not worth it just to get a screen up. Almost never is it worth it. I don't know what the Terra Water's for. Maybe because it's weak to ground and. Is it weak to ground and fire? Okay, yeah, it does help versus fire, so maybe it is good. I just like flying personally, but but fire probably is more common, so water might even make more sense. Using the same team, so he knows how to use it. He just swapped out the Volcarona to Chiyu and uses a nasty plot set instead of Quiver Dance. So I don't know about leftovers though. Oh, maybe it's because uh, he uses screens and whatnot, but he doesn't have Intimidate or Breaking Swipe, so I don't know. He does have Corviknight, though, to counter the Intimidate. And then Wolfie Glit. He... Wait a minute. I thought he was using Gyarados. Oh, no, that was Charlotte. Okay, he's using Flying. Hmm... I don't know if that's the counter fissure or what, but I don't think you really need to counter ground moves because it has an ice move to super affect them normally. There must be something I missed. I, oh, he probably uses it more for fighting moves. Okay. Haze is fine. Counters Dondos and whatnot. Steel booster energy is fine on Fluttermane, but I kind of like water better. Um, steel... And water are both good versus Goldango. I, I think steel is used just because it has resist, a lot of resistances in general. So, yeah. And it and it resists other flutter mains, I think, a little bit better. So that's probably why people use it. But I might recommend, hmm, maybe Terrify with Garchomp unless... You can outspeed and kill the Arcanine before they Wisp you. But you can't stop a Talonflame from Wisping you, so I don't know. You can protect at least for a turn with this set. I don't know. Uh, it's His team's fine. So... This team, trying to figure it out. I do like the booster energy. I mean, I do like the Iron Bundle Chiyu combo, and Sash is good because Chiyu commonly gets one shotted. So Sash is a really good. Yeah, Sash is a really good item on it. Terrifier to boost it up. So I like it. Curse for the Don Dozo, probably. Mm, yeah, pretty good all around standard stuff. See, everyone's using Terra Fire Corviknight now. That's why it's like, when I know I'm right, I just say stuff because I'm like, Terra Dragon stupid when I saw, like, Alberto get wisp every single time on stream and once I used fire it was amazing if you're using dragon I would use lumber or whatever, but then it has like hardly any bulk so I would I think citrus with Terra fire makes the most sense. Oh, he's using choice ban. I Guess I guess that is a good idea to do more damage because it usually doesn't do enough damage But yeah, that g has good strong consistent damage of its ability so intimidate isn't going to be a problem for it and okay 
yeah, the Murkrow with the Chiyu combo is pretty good. I was using that basically with Bundle as well. So I think that's going to be my next team I'd really try to perfect is a Chiyu Bundle Murkrow team with something to block priority like Zarnia. Not bad overall. Right, so Life War Mimikyu, by the way, is really good because you can one shot a Flutter Main with Shadow Sneak, Terror Ghost. Even though he's not using Dragonite to really benefit off that. Terror Fire is good to prevent Wisps. Overall, pretty good team. I just don't know how it would do versus a trick room team, a hard trick room team that uses a lot of sport counters, but overall it looks pretty good. Hmm. Personally, I don't know about Wisp on Chiyu. I feel like it is a decent move, but you might you just might want to hit hard, really, really hard with it. Use that to its advantage instead of wisping and stuff. But but wisp is fine. Nothing wrong. Nothing's wrong with it. I do like the brave bird over the foul play though, because on Murkrow because it gives it really good coverage. And I was using using foul play, but it's like overlapping coverage with other dark moves and stuff so brave bird is just really good because it just takes out the pokemon you need to more like the dark types that already resist dark or I don't know, grass types and stuff and they already covered that one justin knox that's fine Pretty standard. Jump Fluff, though, is not. It's Cover Cloak, so it's immune to fake out, flinching, and can get some sleep powders off. But you're just kind of gambling on a 75% move. I guess people do gamble on Fissure, but still, I wouldn't, I wouldn't gamble on that personally. Well-baked body, huh? Lava Plume, knew it. Oh, and you can even... Lava Plume next to his Azumarill, and if it pops the Lumberry, then that's fine a lot of times. I don't know, Dash Bun seems a little too niche to me, but maybe it's fine. Yawn and Wish stuff, that's just kind of gimmicky, but it could work versus some teams that aren't preparing for it. Throws them off guard. Clear Amulet's pretty unique with Dragonite. Good versus Intimidate. Can't really knock that and good against icy winds. Zoomerl is good into a lot of the meta. I just don't know about Dosh Fun. Not saying it's bad, but I don't know about it. <laughs> um, skeptical about it. All right. Howl, huh? Stone Edge. Even though that can miss, that's a pretty good move for the flying types. Pretty standard stuff. I do agree with Psyshock Shock on the Flutter Main. These are similar teams, but it could be a coincidence. But it's probably not. Let me see the terror types again. Well, maybe. These Pokemon are so used. And these terrors are pretty common that it could be. I mean, it is a different terror for this one. So, I don't know. Not not necessarily a copy. It could be a coincidence. I wonder if they know each other, though. Like that, I'm not sure if it's, if it's a copy team or not. But other teams, 
I feel like are. I don't just go by, oh, so, since they have the same six, they must have copied. No, I look at like all the other details too, like what terror types they have, what moves they have, how they use it. So, yeah. Hmm. Covert cloak. Personally, I would use a safety goggles rod and wash in this meta to counter the Palafin Arcanine Amoongus combo. But covert cloak, I'm trying to think about it. Would count it would counter snarl and fake out. But I don't think that's the biggest issue. Maybe it is. Snarl is a big issue. But I think more of the issue is getting spored. So, or missing your moves. So, yeah. And then, how many more teams are we going to look at? Maybe a few more. We'll look at maybe the top 24. How about that? And I'll just cut it off. Or just look at one of these unique teams. I don't see, I don't see anything that looks like a unique Pokemon. Or if it was, they didn't do well enough. Even though I'm not saying it's bad just because it didn't top cut or get like higher, but I don't even see anything that original. Okay, last two teams. Terra Grass. I, I have been using Terra Grass. It is good versus like Spore, but in general, I don't want to tear with it unless I can finish off a... Uh, Arcanine. Life Orb is actually, I need to test out Life Orb. I was using Mystic Water with it, but I might actually want Life Orb for more power, but I already have Life Orb on Talonflame, so I can't really spare it. But if I were to use Sharp Beak, I could spare it. But then if I use Sharp Beak, then Flare Blitz isn't as powerful. So maybe I might do that. But then I don't know if I would still use Flare Blitz. I might. But probably not. I'd probably just use Life Orb. I'll have to think about it more, though. Terra Dark is good on Amoongus if they don't build a good team for Hard Trick Room. Just don't expect Amoongus to counter Hard Trick Room. They'll use Safety Goggles or Terra Grass Armor Rouge and Safety Goggles or Terra Grass like Ndidi or, or whatever, or Hatterene and Torkoal, and you won't be able to do that much necessarily. But it can be good to have Terra Dark Amoongus. I do think it's good to have Goldango if you're using Mouse Ape in general, though, because if they try to counter it with like Fluttermane or whatever, you can use a Goldango and, and counter what counters mouse ape or what counters ape you can use goldango to counter a lot of times now this one sash huh i guess that is understandable because there is a lot of like specs terra fairy flutter man going around but then you're sh this per Steven's using Brave Bird with Sash. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. I think if you're going to use Brave Bird, use Eviolite. Because why would you want to finish your Sash off if you were brought to Sash? I mean, maybe you got to do what you got to do. Or, or maybe it won't go to Sash anyways. But it often will if you're not using Eviolite. So, I don't know about that. Otherwise, the team looks pretty good. I like using Terra Dark Chiyu though to counter with Life Orb to counter Arcanine better to one shot it. But we're seeing a lot of the Murkrow Chiyu like bundle combos and it looks like it's doing pretty well. So props to all these people for doing so well at Fort Wayne. I could have went and probably would have done pretty decent. But I don't want to keep paying money to travel to all these tournaments even if I do do well or I'll, I might just get hacked out anyway so it's like I don't know I don't really want to spend that much money anymore unless I'm like really focused and and think I'll like make almost no mistakes 
and be really motivated and everything then I might go because then luck probably won't be the reason why I don't you know make top cut or do really well so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video